what is going on? I'm gonna throw together another quick little video here. Uh, my nose check valves. That was another video. I'm gonna go check it out if you haven't seen it already. Uh, I was talking to my buddy Chris. He's uh, messing with the motor. He kind of on his last leg. He uh, had an event he wanted to go to, put on a show, so he took it apart, cleaned it. Uh, kind of had a little bit of problem getting back together. Kind of show you guys how I do it. Um, I took a lot of these apart, developed some major finger strength. So I'm going to show you what I do. Uh, there's multiple ways of doing it. This is the easiest, well, the easiest way for me, really. Uh, fastest way, definitely. So I'll bring you guys in here. Um, not really going to talk too much about the innards of the motor. I'll probably make another video on that when I'm messing with another motor. This one I just took apart, cleaned it uh, for a customer, and just popped it back together. I actually already popped it back together. I uh, thought about making a video as I put it together, and uh, Chris just happened to text at that time. And we talked about it. He was like, you should make a video. It's probably him right there. Uh, he was like, you should probably make a video because he caught hell putting it back together. So I'm going to show you guys how I do it. Uh, I'll probably stumble now I'm recording it. But usually it's not too bad. So I'm bring you guys in here. I'll pull it apart. And uh, we'll put it back together. All right. Let's see if I can do this without blocking the view. Uh, I do have the end cap off. These usually come off pretty easily. Um, most of the time they do. Not always. Uh, sometimes you gotta get like a little plastic wedge cram in there and pop them off and they usually once you get it just broke free a little bit they usually come off pretty easily uh, this one here when i took it apart the first time i did have to uh tap it with a rubber mallet just a little bit one thing you do want to look for uh, if you do have to go that route check your um brain farting check your armature up here and like a, a good old worn motor that you've got you know lots and lots of use out of it'll have a ridge up here um, and that will make it difficult taking it apart you won't be able to just slide it like you normally can so keep an eye out for that because that will damage your brushes also damage your armature you can repair it you can actually uh, turn it down in a lathe um, you can maybe run it with a grinder i'll show you uh when we get this apart how you kind of redneck lathe it I wouldn't really recommend that, but hey, you know, sometimes you got to do what you got to do to keep on cruising. So anyways, uh, pulling the motor apart. Yep. I'm going to have to go get that rubber mallet. Yeah, that bottom's a little tight. Let me grab a rubber mallet real quick. Should have known. All right, we're back. Yeah, that bottom was a little tight. That was the same problem I had uh, beforehand. Had a problem putting it back together, too. It was snug. Kind of wanted to show you all that coming apart. But uh, yeah, when you pull that out, all your brushes spring back in. Um, there are a few different ways of doing this. You could pull them springs back, you get them out of the way. To me, it's just a kind of a pain in the butt. So uh, one thing to try and help yourself out, that little notch right there, there is a little dimple there. So go ahead and kind of set yourself up. It isn't the end of the world. Uh, I just put this together a few minutes ago and I did miss that. So, like I said, not the end of the world. You can kind of turn them usually. Um, as I was talking about, like a redneck lathe, you could set that up there, get you a little spinning action going. Take you, I would probably use like a small air die grinder or something like that. I mean, you could use a four inch grinder, just uh, keep in consideration, you know, depending on the way you grind it, you could actually speed this up. I'd probably wear a glove, put over here. Just take that off and just surface it just a little bit. You want it to all be smooth. This one here, I used um, Scotch Bright. Just cleaned it up. It really wasn't in bad shape. Um, just wanted to clean it up to prolong it. But yeah, now we got everything all out of orientation. We got our little knots there, knots there. So yeah, I just grab these with my fingers and then I push them all back. And I try and kind of hold fingers on the side of the casing and once I get them all pushed back I just pick that up and gently set it over there voila just like that um, bit of a pain but that's like I said the easiest way I've found to do them uh, fastest way I found to do them also and you gotta line up your little divot there which I have no clue where it went There it is. We're not far. Just right there. Boop. That pops in just like that. I'm going to give it a little tap with a mallet just to make sure it's all seated. And there you have it. 
you're all ready for your cap to go back on there. Um, when you put your rods in there, just make sure that nothing's touching. For sure, yeah, our rods go through there. Usually it's kind of a little bit bigger of an opening. Yeah, that's it. Let's put a motor together. It really isn't too bad. Like I said, you just want to make sure that you're not damaging uh, your brushes because they are soft and they can chip up on the edge and you want them in as best contact as you can get them. So hopefully that'll help you out as far as putting the motor back together. Um, I got some more work to do. Can't sit around making videos all day yet. Um, yeah, that's it. Hopefully I helped you out. Uh, if it did, hit the like button. Uh, if you have a better way, leave a comment. I'm always down for finding easier ways to do stuff. Um, share the video. That way other people can figure out how to do this kind of stuff. That's the whole point of making these shorter videos. Uh, other than that, appreciate you watching. Remember, you won't know what you can do until you try. So get out there and fix your ride. Get you going again. See ya.